A Senate hearing on fairness for women protecting children and on the civil rights of LGBTQ plus Americans has just wrapped up on Capitol Hill. Riley Gaines, she was among those testifying and she tearfully told lawmakers about her experience of being forced to compete against transgender athlete Leah Thomas. She made it clear that losing to Thomas, well, that was the least of her trauma. In addition to being forced to give up our awards and our titles and our opportunities, the NCAA forced me and my female swimmers to swim to share a locker room with Thomas, a six foot four, 22 year old male equipped with and exposing male genitalia. Let me be clear about this. We were not forewarned we would be sharing a locker room. No one asked for our consent and we did not give our consent. And I'll, I'll set the scene, a swimming locker room is not a place of modesty. You're undressing, you're fully exposed. And we were forced to take off our swimsuit in front of a man who was doing the exact same thing. If nothing else, I truly hope how you can see this as a violation of our right to privacy and how some of us have felt uncomfortable, embarrassed, and even traumatized by this experience. In 1972, Congress enacted Title IX to end unjust sex discrimination in all aspects of education, including college athletics. But by allowing Thomas to displace female athletes in the pool and on the podium, the NCAA intentionally and explicitly discriminated on the basis of sex. Although the NCAA claim it acted in the name of inclusion, its policies in fact excluded female athletes, which are the very female athletes whom Title IX was passed to protect. Believing in biology is not bigoted, and following the science that there are only two sexes and that there are very real and important differences between the two sexes is not hateful, it's fact. David, who is for forcing young women to look at male genitalia? The left. The yeah. left is President Biden, who had this wild show on the White House lawn. This is who they are. They don't care about rights. They care about their agenda and what it brings to the table. They don't care about Leah Thomas. They don't care about the girls in Connecticut. They don't care about the bicyclist who loses a race. The fact is, they are actually the opposite of what they claim. They don't care about women's rights. They don't care about your rights. Look, if someone, and someone has tried to go into a bathroom with my wife, it wasn't happening. I stood at the door. I don't care who you are. If you have male genitalia, you're not going to that bathroom. Women and men in America need to stand up, and women need to stand up for each other on this. Yeah. Um, Senator Hawley, who I'll have on in the 8 p.m. hour, he had some thoughts, too. Listen to this powerful exchange. Let me give you a chance to respond to something that Leah Thomas said recently, publicly. This is, um, she said this publicly. They're using this quote now. They're using the guise of feminism, they meaning you, using the guise of feminism to sort of push transphobic beliefs, meaning you advocating for women, women's rights, is actually just a cover for transphobia. Do you want to respond to that? Feminism is not a fluid term. Um, the original and, and the meaning of what it means to be a feminist is to uphold, respect, honor, embrace, and celebrate women on our own physical ceilings, our own uniqueness. That term has not changed. Um, and what this really is is a, is a male mansplaining what it is to be a feminist, which I honestly think is pretty ironic, and it's something we've seen before. Boom. Strong young woman, Ainsley. Well, I mean, we have daughters. What if our daughters were great at a sport, and then there was one position to be an Olympic athlete, and you're vying for that, and a trans individual gets that instead of our daughters? How upset would you be? My other concern is injuries. And don't, and don't get me wrong. I have a heart for everybody. This is America. You can be who you want to be um, at the right age, right? But... Um, if, uh, as far as injuries, our daughters play on the opposing volleyball team is Leah Thomas. Leah Thomas slams that ball and it smacks our daughter in the face. She's about. not yep. equipped mm -hmm. to protect herself. You know, those are my concerns about this. Yeah, yeah. there's that an athlete happened. who that happened to. Yeah, there is. Turned yeah. 18. Yeah. Muscle yeah. mass. Yeah. Yeah. Harris, and uh, Riley had this powerful moment where she said that she tied Leah Thomas mm -hmm. to the 100th of a second, and there was one trophy, and they gave it to Leah because yeah. they said it was crucial. Yeah. Well, Riley told me that they, when, when I interviewed her a few weeks ago, that they took her, you know, kind of behind the scenes and said, you can hold the trophy for the picture, but you can't keep it. <laughs> yeah. Because we want to give it to Leah Thomas. It makes history. Look, two things, and, I, and when you were talking about you know, who wants to see, who wants girls to see a, a man's genitalia in the locker room? 
I started to think about Kirsten Cinema, who is now no longer a Democrat, she's an independent. Remember when she went against the grain against yeah. the Democrat Party and leadership, men went into a women's bathroom after her, mm -hmm. snapping pictures and, yeah. and, and putting Harassing pressure on her. her yeah. Today, one last thing. Riley Gaines was not respected by the Democrats particularly those Democrat women today as we watched. Yeah. They owe that young woman an apology. That's they they talked be. all about the LGBTQ community and things that have gone against them. And we, and we understand that. We cover the crimes that happen. But what about, the woman, what about the woman who was attacked that was sitting before them? Could they not recognize that? Could they not respect her enough to say, and we know you've had your trials as well. Yeah. They fell down. Of course, it's not over yet. They still have an opportunity to show her that respect. Yeah, apparently no respect, Emily. No, not at all. If she had identified as a woman, she would have been treated with a crown and a red carpet. Because she's a biological woman standing up for her rights, she is treated with contempt and disrespect. It is shameful, those Democrats. And let me make one quick point. Indecent exposure is squarely absorbed in the criminal code. And indecent exposure to a minor is upwards of a felony. So the fact that if you yes. describe it as, well, I identify it as such? No. That is against the law. It is shameful. Yeah, and there could be a 17-year-old in college. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.